What's up guys, Max from Max Works here, and today we're doing kind of a State of the Union type address. It's been almost a year since the last video I put out, um, and I just kind of wanted to explain where I've been and where we're going so that, um, you know, you guys don't feel left out. Um, the channel's grown quite a bit in my absence. I uh, haven't been posting videos, but I have been answering a lot of your comments, questions, stuff like that. Um, just doing my best to keep interacting with everybody, uh, despite kind of the time, change in time. Um, last year, about this time, I just bought this house and moved in and had a bunch of projects I needed to do, to do with this house, and it just was not um, time efficient to film. I had some problems with my camera equipment, and I just didn't get, didn't get as much uh, filming and content done as I wanted. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to show you a few of the things I've built in the last year. Uh, the other thing is I had plans 2021. I was going to get back into YouTube. I was going to start filming again. Um, and the first week of January, I destroyed my left knee, ended up having uh, surgery to correct that issue. And this is actually the first weekend I'm allowed to walk. Um, the surgery I had had me in a wheelchair and on crutches for the last six weeks, so I'm just, you know, very slowly starting to, you know, be myself again and walk around again and work on projects again. And I wanted to kind of film this and show you guys kind of where I've been the last year and, and where we're going. I want to thank everybody who's uh, left comments, questions that I've interacted with in the last year. Um, I always had kind of a love-hate relationship with YouTube and with the YouTube channel, but, um, you know, it's, it's the people and the ideas that get thrown around that really make the biggest difference for me. Um, and so I just kind of want to get back to that. With that said, let me show you guys some of the cool things I've built in the last year. So we're going to just start here in the garage. Um, those of you who watched that last video, remember this was nothing more than just a bunch of boxes full of junk. Now we've got some more toolboxes. I finally, after years and years and years and prodding from a, a few vocal friends, there are, you know, tags on all the drawers now. So you can actually figure out where, uh, <laughs> where everything is. Um, I built this kind of rack of storage over here. Um, this is an ever evolving thing as I try to figure out what I'm going to keep in the garage, what doesn't need to live in the garage. Um, I bought this speed triple a year ago, a year and a half ago. There's my, uh, my great Dane Griffin, um, sniffing, doing, doing doggy stuff. Um, anyway, I bought the speed triple, um, a year ago. It's a 955. I only paid 750 bucks for it and it got a new tire a week ago and I'm excited to start riding again. Um, these are great bikes. They're some of my favorite long time viewers will know I've had several on this channel. Um, and this one's probably going to be around for a while cause it was just so cheap and it rides so well that I can't really complain. Um, I upgraded my welding cart configuration here for the MIG. This is just the cheap eBay stand for now. Um, I got rid of the giant one I had before. This big workbench we still have. Um, this is gonna go the way of the dodo as soon as I get my welding table built. Hint, that's a video um, that's coming up hopefully soon. Um, I've got this little buddy scooter. Uh, I picked it up so that like, you know, friends and guests have something to ride. But honestly, after the knee surgery, I've been using this a little bit to, uh, to go downtown because it's not a sports bike and it's real easy on your knees. Um, over here, this is kind of another big, one of my big early projects. I put a uh, 100 amp panel in here. Um, this gave me power for the welders down here, as well as running plugs to various parts of the garage. <clears throat> Excuse me, various parts of the garage. Um, I don't know if this will work with the gimbal, but I added a whole bunch of can lights to the garage. So we are really well lit space in here. Uh, it makes it easier for filming as well as um, just, you know, a nicer space to work. Um, I got one of these little swag off-road saw things, built some legs for it. Um, let's see, let's take you guys outside. This is kind of the big, big thing I built right when I first moved in. Um, sorry, it's a little rainy out here. 
but this is a 200 square foot um, shed. Uh, I got myself a giant rolling door. Um, it's built and painted to match the house. I'm really happy with it. It's weatherproof and uh, it allows me to have the garage be a project space rather than a storage space. Over here, I got this in last September. This is a Taiga 22V uh, wakeboard boat, wake surf boat. We um, spent a lot of time on the lake. That's another reason I didn't make a lot of videos last year is because every weekend I was on the lake having a good time. Um, and it's kind of hard to, to schedule weekends away from this. Um, the next video you guys probably see will be a project on this boat. There are other plans for projects with this boat. Um, it's actually a really good boat. Um, but there are some modifications I'd like to make as always. So I also put down all this rock uh, here. This is about 17 cubic yards of stone. Um, the shed is on skids, so it's all just, just rock underneath. I put together this little firewood holder. It was a quickie little project. Then let me bring you guys over here. So this was another one of my projects. Um, I put it in an outdoor sink so I can wash my dirty grubby hands when I'm working on cars and stuff. Um, this came out pretty good. It's two inch concrete countertop. Uh, I think they're inch and a half uh, backing plates. The whole bottom is steel. Um, got two big doors, got lots of storage. I got this really nice faucet. I'm a huge fan of these like dual action faucets. You know, we got our fast orange stuff. Um, nice big sink. Uh, Nice big drain. Basically, this lets me use it as, you know, kind of both a slop sink. Ugh. There we go. Both as a slop sink as well as a, uh, you know, it's nice out here in the summer. We can have parties, have a margarita machine out here, that kind of stuff. I added, um, obviously, plumbing as well as water or as well as power up here and inside kind of that lower area uh, in case I wanted to put like a nice machine or something. Um, let's see, we added all of these lights. Um, you can see right there and then they run across the balcony to pole. That's pretty much it for the backyard. I, I've done quite a bit of work and projects and stuff. Um, over the last year, I haven't been idle. I just haven't really filmed any of it. So I learned a long time ago, making promises on YouTube is a horrible idea. Um, but we're gonna see kind of where this channel is going next. So let's talk about some of the plans I have uh, for here for 2021. And some of this is gonna be limited by money and some of it's gonna be limited by time and some of it's gonna be frankly limited by my leg. Um, because like I said, I've still got several months of recovery ahead of me. Um, the gimbal uh, kind of takes out a lot of the limping as you're moving around. It's real handy that way. Um, so projects that are going to happen, I think, this year. Um, one of the things I want to do with the boat, one of the last things I want to do with the boat is I need to add um, a ballast system for it. It surfs okay. Um, it's an older boat. It's an 04. Um, they weren't really set up for surfing back then. I'm going to add a killer ballast system to it, I hope. Um, that'll make it really surfable. I've you know, figured out all the little ends and bits on that boat. And so I'm probably gonna keep it for several years, uh, especially with the way the boat market is right now. Um, other projects, here in the garage, the next big one is I wanna get rid of this and I wanna build a sweet, like fully functional welding table that I can like build jigs on and all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be a very complicated design. It's gonna be, uh, you know, built probably over the course of a month maybe. Um, there'll be a series of videos on it uh, when that happens. Um, again, unfortunately, because of my knee, I'm not really in a position where I can move around heavy metal like I usually can. And so uh, some of these things require a little bit more planning right now. Hi, right, Griffin. This is one of the big boys. One of the big boys. Griffin loves attention. All of the attention. All of the time. Um... So I want to build a welding table in here um, and just some other garage stuff. Ideally, I, my plan is this side of the garage should house a fun car. And whatever kind of fun car that ends up being, you're going to see it here on the channel for sure. Um, but that's kind of the, the idea 
is that the shed will be storage, tool area will be up front, and this will be for a car, and that'll be for motorcycles or motorcycle. Um, but, you know, there's, there's just kind of all kinds of plans. Another thing I really want to do is I want to build a smaller outdoor thing on the other side of this wall, like a little shed, and put a large air compressor and a vacuum system in it so I can do um, some more intense woodworking and stuff in here and have the ability to suck all of that, all that crap um, outside into a storage container. But anyway, I don't want to make promises. That's how you get yourself in trouble uh, on YouTube. But I am going to um, make a concerted effort this year to bring you guys more videos. And my, my thing was always that, you know, if I'm going to bring you a video, I want it to be a quality video. I want it to be a quality subject. I don't make throwaway content. And I'm going to work on my camera work and try to be a little bit more... Um, a little bit more focused on that. I want to. I want to make sure I'm bringing you guys good quality videos that really explain the things that I'm doing, um, because that's that's what this channel is about. Um, if you have any cool ideas on what you want to see me build, drop them down in the description. Um, if you're excited about the content that's coming to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, let me know how things are going for you. And hopefully um, I will see you soon with the first video of, first actual technical video of 2021. Thank you.